Hello Donuts, today we are going to be reacting to UK vs USA TikToks. In this series we rate who is the best country out of the UK or the USA from the TikToks that we watch. I believe from the previous two we've done, it's 1-1, so I guess this is the decider. So let me know who you think wins, and let's get into it. What about British people, like, it really bothers you? Their teeth? You think they can fix- Bro, straight away. What's the teeth thing? Most of us look like we could chew through a letterbox. Why do you always mention this? What is it with British people and their teeth? I've seen some British people with great teeth. Granted, they might have took a little trip to Turkey in between, but still, they've got great teeth. What about the teeth really turns you off? They're there. They're big. Mm -hmm. Are there any British people you like? Yeah. I don't have one off the top of my head. But I'm sure there is one. Like, I know there is. I just don't know their names right now. Yeah, let me see your teeth. Can I- can I get a still of this- this- this person's teeth? Oh, he's keeping his lips sealed. He knows. He knows his teeth ain't perfect. He ain't got turkey teeth. Bet he's got letterbox teeth. But he's got Wallace and Gromit teeth. That's the one thing Americans always say is about our teeth. Like, I know I'm not the best one to kind of, you know, kind of represent this, right? But look at other people's teeth. I have met people in the UK who have good teeth. I have. I think. It's just the, the people that seem to blow, that blow up on the internet don't have like, Bevo, right? Ain't got the best teeth. Better. Who's got good teeth as a career? <laughs> Off the top of your head, I can't think of someone with great teeth. Let us know a British person with great teeth. There's got to be someone out there. Americans do seem to have great teeth, so I'll give America a point with this one. Now hold on just a minute that there, partner. Hilarious. Are you being a silly billy? What's got you in such a funk? Surely it's nothing Jesus can't solve. You fat f***ing c I will literally f your nan into a grave, then chop your dad's <laughs> off and smack you over the head with it. You silly t <laughs> This this guy is honestly class. He gets us every day. The, why, why are they so like that though? Obviously, the, the, the way he's saying that about Americans, I imagine not all Americans go up to someone and call them a silly billy. Or you might. Right? That might just be like what really intimidates people over there. I don't know. I just feel like that really wouldn't work if I found like a hard American and called them a silly billy. I feel like I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get shanked, or whatever they do over there. But why are British ones so personal? Like he said, straight away, like the first thought is to say, I'm gonna f*** your nan. Like that, when you, that is so personal, even to meet his nan. But to f*** her as well? Chances are it's on the day you've met us, how's that up? Like that would be mental if there was like a, a serial f*** on the loose. You know when they had like Jack the Ripper? Imagine if they had Jack the Finger. Oh, he's just, like no nans safe. There's nans across the country turning on the news every night. Like, oh, they got Mary. Mary's been f***ed. Oh, Linda as well. Not Linz. Oh, they'll not get Valerie. Oh, they've got Valerie. I hope there's not a finger on the loose. If there is, guys, make sure you lock your doors tonight. You never know. Yeah, I'm going to give the point to UK for the insults. It has to be. It's just too personal. Like, silly Billy's not going to get me, get me intimidated. British mother be the only one to look you dead in the eye dead in the eye and seriously be like you americans with your weird way of saying things yeah they're not called socks they're called koozie mcwoozies why do americans think we talk like this they always like they always like put like put on the persona of someone that's in like love actually or like in like a posh rom-com it's never the rest of britain or like even just the rest of london it's always some like the it's always like the the, the west london accent like that chelsea accent it's never anything else like who's calling their socks koozie mcwoozies the only time i ever talk like that is sometimes sometimes something like if I fall over or I do a mistake, I'll be like, ooh, oopsie daisy, right? Oopsie daisy. That's, that's me limit. That's when I, that's when I talk really British. Ooh, oopsie daisy. I'm going to give a point to the UK because I believe the UK accent's better. I know I'm biased, but I just believe that. Come on, UK. Done it better. UK versus USA edition. Episode one. Here we go. First up, weather. The UK, cold, windy, rainy, sometimes sunny. See, that's the thing with the UK, it's always dark and depressing. Every day is rain here. But, would you rather have a little bit of rain, or a lot of rain, or a fucking tornado? Would I rather fear for me life, or would I rather get wet? I'm picking wet every day of the week and twice on a Sunday. Sometimes hot, but not very often. USA, you get every type of weather all the time, but it is smoking hot in the summer, and it never gets cool. Okay, weather so, UK. for that reason, I'm gonna go with America. Better weather. What? Brother, you are you are from the UK. How are you choosing tornadoes over 
a little bit of cold. To be fair, even when it's hot here, it's like unbearable. Like Americans have air conditioning. We, when it's hot here, it's a, that's the thing. It's hot here. It's depressing because you can't sleep because we have no air conditioning. It's cold here. It's depressing because you can't leave the house. The UK really is just washed. Second category, nightlife. I've had some epic nights out in the UK. Leeds, Manchester, Sheffield, Liverpool, Newcastle, you name it. I've been there, he's, legendary. He's, he's been to so many places. Has this guy been on like a tour? Does he do like what them Geordie Shaw, like Love Island people do when they do like club appearances? That's mental by the way. Just a side note. Why are them people doing cl club appearances? For what reason? Who's going to the club? Because someone from Geordie Shaw's there. Really? Are we doing that? For what reason? That, that 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 would have no sway. If anything, I'd avoid that place that night. Why do I want to watch a celebrity who was on Love Island sip a bottle of Ciroc? What am I gonna do just for the entire night? Just like stare at them until they finish it? Like, wh why, why am I there staring at them? I've never got that. But I have to say the UK wins this one by far. UK. Food. UK's food, I uh, love to pieces, uh, although uh, people- American. I'm, I'm not gonna, like, I'm just gonna give this to him. American food is better than UK. When I went to America, I couldn't believe how much food you get. Wait, does that mean it's better though? You get more, but does that mean it's better? Mm. I am think I'm biased because I went to New York and it's very touristy food, but I was very impressed with American food compared to UK. I'm gonna have to give it to America, guys. Oh. Shows slash films. Oh, it's gotta be America again. Sorry guys, we've got a few bangers. We've got Top Boy. We've got Line of Duty, but I feel like because there's so much funding in America, like they, they just blow us out the park, like that it just clearly is better, like they have much better movies. God, it's 2-2, it's two -two. so we had nightlife, we had weather, but they had food and they've got TV movies, which is the last one. Music, it's a close one, but I'm gonna go with America. <sighs> UK or America, who's got better music? I can't believe it. I've give this one to America. It do it just does. UK has like some of my favourite UK artists like Bugsy Malone. Banger. Right? Marky B. Banger. But America's just so much better. Again, it's the funding. Guys, oh, America's bringing it back here. The amount of people I got so annoyed at us for choosing America. I mean, was it the last one or the first one? I think it was the first one we did. They could win it again. I mean, don't you find it kind of weird how British people eat beans on toast? It's kind of weird. I wonder, I wonder what that tastes like. Yeah, and all their biscuit and tea and, uh, you know, how they call fries chips. Interesting, right? It is, kind of, yeah. Ahem. Oh, no. At least our schools. <laughs> Sorry, that was really funny. You know, at least our schools don't have guns in. That's like our reply to everything. It's like our trump card. It's our Udo reverse card. Americans say anything bad about Britain. Like, well, yeah, at least we're not getting shoot up in my school, so are we? At least we can go to school and come back home, giving that one to the UK. Rosemary, darling, can you tell the butler to bring more tea and schedule my appointment with Queen Liz for this afternoon at three? <laughs> yeah, it gives me time to do the ponies, yeah. And also, could you ask him to uh, lay my lace out? <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Oh, Sandra and Mike are at it again. Yeah, well, I heard he slept with cleaner from Dark Posh and bloody hell. <laughs> I'm not looking, Sa no, Sandra. You want to... I'll come out there. The best thing about this is she had like the Sports Direct mug as well. She fully thought about this. She was like, no, I need this TikTok to be right. Get the Sports Direct mug in. I want a tsunami of tea. I would love to see a TV show where Americans react to, 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 to work and class British people. Not British people with like the posh accent from like Downton Abbey. You know, like real everyday people that live here. Not people that are in the TV shows or the movies. Just everyday people. And I just want to see the horror on their faces. Because I believe that they think that we all live like we're in Downton Abbey. So in Britain, you guys drive on the left side of the street? That sure is peculiar, huh? <laughs> When at least our schools are not a showing gallery, mate! So what you call chips, we call french fries. Wow, that is wild. <laughs> Funny you would say that, coming from the guy whose children are getting slaughtered in school! What do you call cigarettes? Ooh, we couldn't use that word for cigarettes. No, that wouldn't really fly here. <laughs> Laugh it up! At least our schools are not like. Okay, I can't take any more of this. I get the idea. Why did they have to use this photo? Their teeth aren't that bad. Ah, I've saw some teeth like in my time. Or, or lack of, you could say. My god. This is so funny. This TikTok is act. That, it's just the perfect Trump card. You can't come back from it. Once someone says that, it's like, ah, oh, 
He's got his son. British <laughs> person, first time in America. Should we get one for the bear? Can we? You need a license, I think. Three hours? I guess it's pretty American. I'm actually not trying to buy a gun. You can literally buy a shotgun. Is that easy? Someone could just come in and just kill us. I mean, yeah, that could happen in most places. Yeah, but like in England, how's someone going to kill you? No. Yeah, but then have Bless to run you. to you, so I'll just run away. How much do you think the gun is? $50. 250 I guess you buy this whole thing. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, you're rich. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty. If you have two hundred and fifty dollars, you can buy a gun. That is mad. Jacksep Klarna. That is mad. I'm giving a point to the UK. Out drink who? The Americans or the Brits? Oh, um, British, British people are much better drinkers. The UK. Have you guys ever met us people in Wisconsin? Not only do we have seven out of the ten drunkest cities in America, we can't play beer pong in other states because we're just that good. Oh, this guy's a nick. Why would you brag about how good a beer pong you are? We usually switch over to beer when we want to sober up. Hell! Oh, this guy's so quirky. Yeah, I usually drink beer when I'm trying to wind down. <laughs> Alright, mate, calm down, will ya? Like, what, you're about 30 trying to be cool? When I'm 30, if I'm like this, guys, commentate on my videos. Get me to stop. You can't say that Americans are better drinkers than British people. I'm just not having it. British people start when they're 12. Americans aren't allowed to drink until they're 21. British people are in... Pox, right now, 12 year olds, put some respect on their name. British people at 21 are retiring from drinking. That's a stat for you. No chance that Americans are better drinkers than British people. I'm not having that. That is the one where I'm putting me foot down. That's a point for Britain. Never hear my perspective on what it's like to be married to a British girl. And first off, let me tell you, they're mad. They're absolutely mad. Uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world though. Everybody needs a Millie. Greatest thing on the face of the planet. But the bluntness, <coughs> they don't beat around the bush telling you something. Not, not oh, honey, you can do it like this, or no, honey, that's wrong. No, it's, motherfucker, that's wrong. You're doing that wrong. <laughs> that's so true. British lasses are blunt, but that's what you love. You'll have a spot on your face. They're like, oh, what's that spot doing on your face? You're like, oh, it's like kids. Even kids are so blunt here. Kids come up to you with an iPad, it's not all over their face. They'll come up to you and go, why are you so ugly? At least it's... Spitting facts though. The kid's not going around school saying how ugly Uncle Cam is. He's telling it straight to me face and I respect that kid. That's what you want though. Like I imagine Americans are probably nicer to your face but they'll bitch about it. Maybe it's behind your back. You want someone to just tell you to your face. And you know where you stand. And then there's this tea thing. <clears throat> that mate the other day, dad passed away. I invited him over for a couple beers. He gets here, the mill sneaks around behind us into the kitchen and puts the kettle on. <laughs> A few minutes later, she gives this man a cup of milky tea and some hobnobs and pats him on the shoulder and says it'll be all right. <laughs> this is, this is such a good video. Like, cause this is so normal to British people, but an American's like, wait, what? What are you, why, why are you not letting this man get f***ed? Why have you said, why have you served this man milky tea and hobnobs? That like, no, ain't gonna be all right. Man's dad just died. What the hell's tea gonna fix? <laughs> Everything. One well, of the kids busts their knee in the garden or has a bad dream. Cup of milky tea and some hobnobs every time. It does. It's it like the cure everything. all or whatever. I, I don't get it. Everything. I do not get it. Then there's the word. <laughs> everything and everybody can be a, but it it can go both ways. It can be endearing and it can be an insult. And I'm I get. It I'm probably gonna have to blur that word out because YouTube demonetizes the c word. But the c word can be used for everything. It's like perfect. Like it is good and bad. Like your best friend, you can be like, oh, he's a good. Or you can hear someone and be like, they're a c It's just perfect. Also, guys, if you haven't already, press the subscribe button because we're closing in on 100,000 subscribers. And we're so close. Join the donuts. Oh, my God. I love your accent. Where's it from? Oh, I'm just from this little town called Bournemouth in the United Kingdom. Ooh, is that near London? No. Manchester? No. <laughs> Birmingham? No. Scotland? No. Uh Wales? No. Where is Bournemouth? Is that how you say it? Bournemouth? Oh my god, that's right at the butthole of the UK. Look at that, that's right at the batty crease. That's where the, the UK spreads its legs. Bournemouth. It's like the UK is like squatting on top of France. Bournemouth just comes out. I didn't even know that was a real place. I knew you had a football team, but I didn't know there was actual civilization there in Bournemouth. See, when I tell people I'm from, like, if, if I tell, like, America... Every video. I feel like someone needs to, to make a compilation of my voice breaks. That would, that would, that would be really sweet and also kind of traumatic. Whenever you tell someone like who's American that you're from Newcastle, they always go Newcastle. 
Like a new castle? Is there a new castle there? Anyway, guys, right? The only way in these videos that we solve it, right? The double points round is we choose one person who's American and one person from the UK and we battle it out to see which one is the best or the worst. The two most infamous creators at the time of recording from each country represented America. We have Austin McBroom. He's having a little bit of a breakdown. He's recently had a divorce from his wife. He had a, like a family channel and he's kind of going off the rails a little bit. But everyone's laughing at his TikToks. And he's recently moved into the driveway of his wife's house in like an RV and he's doing a tour of it for work. I'll give you a quick little tour of my new place. Um, again, this is just temporary, but it's dope. It's dope. Come check it out. Alright, so here's my front door. Give me the keys, please. So, this is where I'm gonna be staying, y'all. Fire. So, check it out. This is my living room right here. This is my living room. I just got like this is nice, but this guy is a multi-millionaire. Also, surely that's kind of an ick if you move in an RV on the driveway of your divorced wife's house. That's got to be an ick. Like, just get your own place, fella. Get the depression flat by yourself, like like everyone else has to do. That's what everyone has to do when they get divorced, right? You live by yourself and you feel sad about it. Don't move in on the driveway and put the handbrake on. Why is your living room got a handbrake? I don't care who's okay, on the, I don't fine, care if it's bad money. I don't care if it's bad money. You're, you're stupid. Not, you're, you're not stupid. You're not stepping out with nobody. We're going home. He's freaking bad money? You're going home. I'm doing any and everything. The fact that this man like went out dressed like this, I kind of respect it. This guy doesn't give a crap about anything. But why? Why is he dressed like this? You know that meme? Oh, I'm seeing your dad's taking the divorce. Well, this is literally him. <laughs> what? What's going on? What? What? What did I do? This man was never that funny. I always thought he was a little bit of a freak. But now I'm kind of intrigued by him. Now whenever I see his TikToks, I'm like, let's just, let's just see how this one plays out. Now, who is the person from the UK that is going to compete against Austin McBroom? I hear you say so loudly. Well, it's the one and only queen. Elphaba. If you didn't already know, guys, Elphaba has recently been banned off TikTok. Yes. For real reason. So the real reason why I got banned um, on that account was because um, TikTok thought I was impersonating myself. So basically, um, a that is the level of fame I want to get to. That's the that's 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 the end goal. That's the tip of the iceberg. Platforms banning me because they're they're pre thinking I'm pretending to be myself. What happens if someone was better at playing you than you were at playing yourself? Then they were the real ones, and you could never be yourself again. Oh, guys, I could go on about this forever at 4 a.m. after us. A load of haters are reporting my account from impersonation. I messaged my agency. Now TikTok has confirmed my identity. Um, so I'm getting that account back. Should we not just use this as like a time to just be like, yeah, that's, let's just cut the plug on an alpha band TikTok. Let's just stop this. This is a good excuse to just stop now. It can take up to 48 hours, but I'm getting it back. <clears throat> Why? We don't need, we don't need this. I've known a couple of people that work at TikTok and they say like they can actually, in the UK, they can just pull people if they want to. They say shadow banning doesn't exist like that. Whenever you see people saying the shadow ban, like that's not actually a thing. So they can't shadow ban Alphabet, but they could like take her account off. I'm surprised they haven't. Well, I guess they have a couple of times because she's had a few accounts, but I'm surprised they haven't just like cut her. When, like you can't listen, this, listen, this has got to stop because it is kind of borderline getting out of control now. I have a very different life compared to other people. So it's like me, for example, right? Being honest. Now, take with this by a grain of salt. Don't think I'm being offensive, okay? Say yes in the chat. Just take this by a grain of salt. Wait, did you I'd be like, okay, it's just- Take this by a grain of salt. Isn't it with a grain of salt? I'm confused now, how do I- How do I take it by the grain? Anyway. Oh my God, Alphaba. Hi, can I have a photo, please? So this happens a lot on a night out. So when I'm walking past, it goes like this, like... 
Yeah, there's a reason for that. People aren't just doing that because the sake of it. They're doing it because of the content you make. Like, I'm not saying that, like, I'm, I'm, I'm as big as Alphabet or anything, but no one ever comes up to me and does that because I don't make that, that style of content where people would do that. People are coming up, up to you in the street because you invite that. It's the type of content you make invites the type of people that know you. The flash is always on and it's like this. Well, the flash is going to be on if it's at night, surely. Otherwise, then the video would be dark. And they'd be telling them friends that Elphaba's in the video and you can't see her. How are we meant to believe it without the flash? Wait, is she complaining about that? About taking a photo of someone? So honestly, guys, it's one of the hardest things. Like, he's just... If you're not... If you've never been in that situation, you wouldn't understand. Like, smiling for a photo. Oh. If you would like to watch another video from me, click right here. You can watch another UK vs USA TikToks. Or watch a brand new movie reaction from me on my Cam Kirkham channel. Cam Kirkham, baby!